welcome back to Pokemon Sword. We are possibly at the end game now. <laughs> oh, there we go. Awesome. Oh my god, I'm very worried since we are gonna face Leon. And I don't know who to put first. Oh, like, I know Amalia has been going on, it happening, it, not going on, but, um, she's been going through the battles very, uh, like, at the very beginning. Not just because she has the amulet coin, but it's because her attack is, you know, her attacks are pretty wide. We got Dazzling Gleam, Cycle Cut, Smart Strike, and Drill Run. And they can cover up so much, and I'm, f oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Ugh, oh, sorry. <laughs> and look, like, Molly is good, but she only has Bug and Ice. Uh, Dewey is, all, is another close call. Because he has a wide range, he has Boom Burst, Poison Jab, and also the two electric type attacks. Uh, Bacon is also another good one. Uh, Alduin is just like a... For now, he's he's backup because he has mad stats. Because, I mean, come on, mad stats. Um, uh, okay, and Gex, and uh, he only has like three different varieties a different variety of attacks, but basically everyone is good. Uh, let's go with Dewey, just to be safe. Uh, Aluin is still gonna be back up, and let's get to it. I am so scared. Mm, I am concerned. Uh... Why can my joystick be, be on a straight line? <sighs> Here it is, the last match of the finals! Who will earn the right to challenge the unbeatable champion Leon? Will it be the brilliant rising star challenger guts? Or will it be the only trainer that- Oh my god, I freaking forgot! I'm going after- ah, I'm going after Rayhan! I completely forgot! Oh god, it's been a while since I recorded the last episode. You really are- you're really something else, kid. You made it all the way here. I guess that's why the champion himself endorsed you, yeah? Leon's my rival, and he chose you. So I've got to first prove I'm better than you if I'm to, if I'm to beat him. Haven't you been losing against him for a long time, my dude? I mean, I like you, but... Remember the beginning of the- of the game? I've reworked my whole team. And now we're all geared up for one-on-one -on -one battles. Okay, this is not, not gonna be a double battle. I was a little bit concerned. You might be thinking that you beat me once already. But if you think I'm the same Rayhan you faced during the gym challenge, you'll soon regret it. Oh, I gotcha, boy. I gotcha. Let's do this. So I think I'm kind of fine. Oh, this is a different tune. Okay, Tower Coal. Okay, just fire type. Okay, I'm I'm safe. I'm safe. Freaking Raven is being so extra. <laughs> Drought. Okay, that's gonna be good for fire attacks and not good for water attacks. I gotta keep that in mind. That's Drought. It gets the sunlight burning real harsh. Oh yeah! Duh, Milo mentioned this at the beginning that Raven does really like to do the whole like oh um you know, those those moves that cause, like, environmental hazards? Let's see, should I? Yeah, I'm gonna go with Boom Burst. Okay, let's see. He only has the five Pokemon. Boom! So, five more moves and the, fi and the, and the Scorching Heat will be gone. But then again, he has Pokemon that can change what's gonna happen. So, let's see. It's gonna be a Flygon. Let's go with Molly. I don't recall if the drought also affects ice, ice type attacks. Hmm. That's the real question. Does it really affect uh, ice type attacks? Because I know it does affect fire and water. Okay, let's go with ice beam just to be specific. Oh, you bastard! Changing the drought to sandstorm. Okay, okay, okay. Now the question is, does that raise your evasiveness? Let the winds blow, stream forward, sandstorm. 
Okay, it doesn't raise five ounce evasiveness. That's good because I do recall that with certain Pokemon, it does raise its evasiveness. And now he has 73. Still, those those stats are good. Low defense, but still good. Okay, let's see. Turtonator. Okay, that's a fire type. Going for Gex. Okay. Turtonator. I still need to catch a Turtonator. I think it's a sword exclusive. I gotta find out where I can get one. Okay, let's go. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go with Snapshot. We're not gonna Dynamax yet. We already got, with this one, three Pokemon down. Heck yeah! Okay, three down. Two more to go. Ugh, I hate the sandstorm. Gudra, okay. Pure, pure Dragon type, so let's go with Amalthea. I know she's not a good special attacker, but still. Come on. Come on, Gudra. Is she gonna... Is, oh, oh, nice. I actually guessed it. Gudra's a female. Um, is Rayhan gonna make Gudra do rain dance by any chance? Because Gudra, I do remember that they evolve thanks to it raining. Well, Slagoo, more than anything. Lagoo, if it's raining and not by cause of uh, of rain ants, it can evolve into Gudra. Oh, whoa, I actually guessed it. Wow, nice. Thank you. I prefer the rain than anything. No, oh, yes. Here comes the rain. Feel its cold damn this snuck into your body. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, I like that shot. I want that shot. Come on. Okay, if his... If he's gonna bring back his metal dragon, that would be awesome. Come on. Duraludon. There we go. Let's go on the safe side. Alduin, you need some time to shine. I want that shot of, of, of Rayhan when the camera's like moving in. You do realize I'm the great Rayhan, right? I'll be the one to beat Leon, so first I'll beat you! Hello, Duraludon. Okay, let's see. Please. Oh, nice shot. Look at him, he's so extra. He's like so into it. Whoa! He's like, rah, rah. <laughs> Good god, Rayhan, you're so freaking extra. I like it. <laughs> Yay! My, my dragon. Why do you have to eat the babies as missiles? Why? Heck yeah, look at that shot. I love how the little Rotom, like the drone is- whoa! <laughs> God, I really like these shots, how it's like recording and not interrupting the fight. Uh, damn boy! <laughs> you saw him roar! Man, I want to see that. Yeah, I'm having way too much fun just seeing, like, the camera movements. Okay, okay, enough talk. Bye, Max. Okay, let's go with Max Wormwind. Ooh, nice. Let's go with that. Time to Dynamax. Look at my worm boy! He's little, he has little feetsies! And little hands! Bring the storm! My partner will send everyone in the stadium flying! This time it's not in a sandstorm! Heck yeah! I prefer the rain any day! You're still 55, I'm 70. I have at least a, what, 15, 15 level. <laughs> oh, nice, okay, okay. With another one, if I get a high roll, that would be awesome. I still have a 15-ish, uh, wait a minute, let's do it. The Dragon War, it's time for the ultimate attack, J-Max Depletion. What the frick does that mean? Ugh. 
Okay, I have a 16 level. Uh, what was. Oh no, you suck. It depletes my PP. Okay. I think one more. And we are Gucci. Hi, Roll. Thank you. You lose. Good day, sir. I love you, Rayhan. Yes. Woo! Yeah! I didn't have to eat a baby once. Losing in the finals is pretty rough, but I suppose I'd better take a quick shot to re remember it by. Haha, <laughs> you lost before you got to Leon, I'm sorry. Challenger Guts, seizes victory! My lovely Pokemon and I have become much stronger than we were before. But you just blew right past us, beyond anything I'd imagined. Oh, thank you. I'm still pretty young myself, but it just goes to show that there's always someone younger coming up, reaching further than you ever dreamed. And you've got your whole future ahead of you. Oh, that's really sweet. Keep up the momentum. Prove that, prove that Leon's not unbeatable. Number 13. Challenger Guts has achieved a dazzling triumph. The trainer who was endorsed by the champion will now face the very man who endorsed her. Yep. Oh, I had to fight my wife. I had to fight uh, B. And now Rayhan, and now for the champion. Oh no! Oh, Cinderace! Look at her! Alright. The big woman's finally here, eh? I came to cheer I came just to cheer you on, you know? Still, it's not easy picking sides. Well yeah, I'm going against your brother. After all, it's the showdown between my big brother and my rival. Who should I really want to win more? Hey. Flash! Right, you reckon I should cheer for guts too, don't you? Couldn't agree more. After all, we did start this thing out together way pat way back in Postwick. Oh, look at the bunny. So you better beat Lee, you hear? If anyone can beat the unbeatable champion, it'll be you, mate. Oh, he believes in me. Mesh! Oh, look at the bunny. Oh, it's a bunny. Imagine if it were the, the monkey, like being on the side, it would be like, oh my god, oh, I'm a big monkey. Well, it's a gorilla more than anything. Okay, let's see. Let's check the summary real quick. Oh, look at those special attacks. Oof. Oof. Yes. Uh, let's see, what was it? Oh, oh yeah, the, the, the PP. Okay, it did not deplete that much. Okay, good. That's, that's my number one concern when I'm playing these kind of games, when you're about to beat the champion. Oh god, okay, okay. I'm gonna keep Dewey just in case on the first and on the first uh, slot. And let me just save real quick. Okay. Oh, are there any more characters here? No, I think I'm the only one. Okay, let's go to it. Let's go against Leon. Let's do the thing. Hello, I am number 13. I will defeat you. Prepare to lose. Where is that wind coming from? The tents, the tents still air on the pitch. And the exact opposite from the audience cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? But remember, the audience is also a bit cruel. They want nothing more than to see one of us lose, after all. It can fill you with fear knowing that but I by a, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it can fill you with fear knowing that. But I absolutely love pushing past the fear, because fear leads to anger, anger leads to hate, hate turns to suffering. I love giving it everything I've got as a trainer and seeing my team give everything they got to seize another victory. It'll be the it's the greatest feeling in the world, and I can't get enough of it. I can feel my partners itching with anticipation inside their Pokeballs. We're going to have a real champion time. I'm the Galar Region's champion, Leon, number one. 
Me and Charizard and all the rest of our team will use all our knowledge and experience to crush you completely. Hmm. We'll see. We'll just see about that. Oh god, cross fingers. Wait. Oh, ah, come on. Hey, look at the monitor. What's... What is that on the big screen? What the frick? Hello, dear Leon and Guts, just letting you know. Aw, oh, you fucker. <sighs> hey, I think it's time I brought another about the darkest day for the sake of Galar's future. Oh, you suck. But I'm in a bit of a pickle. The energy released by the darkest day is too much for us to contain. <gasps> no! I'm sorry it's come to this, but it's you who forced my hand, Leon. You refused to listen. Oh, you suck. So it's gonna be another Ly Lysander situation? Lee! Guts! That video stream. That was from Hammerlock Stadium, right? What in the world did the chairman do? I don't know, but everything he was saying yesterday, did he really pull this crazy stunt to solve some problem a thousand years in the future? I've got to see what's going on. I'm the champion. I have to go. I should have realized what the chairman intended to do before it came to this. I'll take responsibility now for fixing this mess. This is the real champion time. Wow. Okay. But Lee, you're terrible at direct. <laughs> what if you get lost along the way? Take a freaking flying taxi. I want to help my brother, Guts. I've got to. But I can't even manage to beat you. So what sort of help could I ever be? You can help. Just try. Easy for you to say. Hold the phone. The chairman was talking about the darkest day. That's that thing where the sky went all dark once, ages and ages ago, right? What does he mean? He's bringing that up. What does he mean he's bringing that about? And where did he... And where did we even hear that name? Uh... That statue of the hero, I want to say? That statue of the hero in Lotusope. Sonia said something back then, didn't she? Though it turned out to be wrong, since there were actually two heroes and all that. Oh, yeah. Still, doesn't t those two managed to bring an end to the Darkest Day with the Sword and Shield Pokemon. Sonia thought the Pokemon might still be sleeping somewhere, though, right? In the, in the, in the world where we went through. We should try to find them, Guts, but where to start looking? In the, in the slumbering world. There we go. That's it, Guts. I'm sure it's got to be the slumbering world. That illusion you tried to fight off that day, it must have been one of the Pokemon that are supposed to be sleeping there. Let's go back to the slumbering world. If we're lucky, we'll find something that can help. Oh, the end of the world is happening. Ooh. Hello, Sonia. It's nighttime. Huh? Cuts and hop? Oh, I completely forgot about the championship match. What are you do? What are you two doing here? Ah, hello. Haven't you been watching the news at, at all? The tournament is off, Sonia. The chairman saw to that, into sending the entire region into a state of havoc. Huh? What? What happened while I was researching things in the slumbering world? Well, for starters, there's a great black storm or something raging over Hammerlock Stadium. What are they calling it? The darkest day? It's thrown everything into disarray. Still, I'm sure we don't need to worry too much. The unbeatable champion will be able to take care of everything, won't he? Um, it's a bad thing if you're just putting everything into into one person's hands, like champion. It's very bad because that's making you a liability and also a partner to the person who's causing this problem because you're not doing anything to stop it. Hold on a tick, ma'am. Did you did you say the darkest day? The darkest day is the name of the black storm that Ellie brought the Gallo region to ruin in ancient times. So what are you here for, Guts? I'm here to stop the darkest day, to search for the sword Pokemon. To stop the darkest day. You mean you're going to search for the sword and shield Pokemon? 
Okay, here, take this. You should head to the slumbering world. I'll catch up with you once I'm done looking into something that's been bothering me. Oh, I thought you were going to give me the Master Ball. Where did you get the Master Ball, anyway? Huh, the mom's like, hey, don't get yourself killed. All that matters is that you do what you can. You become a fine Pokemon trainer. Oh, thank you. I've been a fine Pokemon trainer since I was in Ruby and Sapphire, but yeah. I wonder if we're about to head straight into a well of fog again. Not that it'd bother us none. We're both grown loads stronger and so have our Pokemon. Going into the forest after Wu that day. That was the start of everything, wasn't it? A legendary beginning, really. I reckon whatever we're about to see will be pretty legendary itself. Let's head in and uh, let's head in and add another page to our tail. Oh god. This is bringing back memories. This was the first episode. Aw, oh, and the babies. Look at them. Where's the smaller Pokemon? <gasps> it's a Grubbin! I never actually ca caught one. It's a baby! It's a baby bug. Okay, let's just catch this one and just get out of there. <laughs> one, eight, one XP. <laughs> oh, I already caught it. Okay, duh. Okay. Well, nothing lost. Okay, just go over the bridge. Whoa, rickety. No! Okay, let's save just in case. Because we don't know if I'm gonna freaking kill the thing. So it's better to save than be... Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry if I'm like saving over and over again. It's just I want to be certain that I'm not going to kill this thing. You can hear the freaking howling of the Pokemon here. That is super cool. I actually missed, missed that detail in, when, I, when we first uh, started this journey. Because unfortunately I have to keep the volume of my TV uh, low. Whoa, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Okay. And the question is, whoa. Too many, too many weavings. The question is where to go. Should I continue over here or should I go over there? Ugh. This is why we're pants with directions. Nope. Stay away from me. Hello, Luna. Seriously, what the heck? Is this a Lost Woods? Oh god, we need to get this. And I just saw uh, a Stunfisk stuck in the in the floor. Oh god, where to go, where to go, where to go? Okay, ooh, nice! We actually got it right. Okay. What's up, Hop? What's with this fog? It's even worse than the first time we came here. It's because it's very... Oh no. It is the Lost Woods. <gasps> Doggo! <gasps> Doggos! There's two Doggos! Doggo! Oh, your ears are cut off! The both of you! No! Uh, Lord! Who <laughs> They really are here. The sword and the shield Pokemon. I knew it. Doggos. No, don't go away. Aww. Hey, where are you going? We need your help over here. You two, what in the world are you doing? What? What? Come off it, Sonia. You must have seen that, right? Those... Those... Sword and shield Pokemon. They were right in front of us. But they but then they disappear into the forest. Hop, you sure you haven't lost the plot? <laughs> there was no one here but the two of you. What? Then were those just illusions or something? Listen, I dug into some literature from other regions and I finally found something. Ooh, nice, nice drop. Mentions of the sword Pokemon, Sasian. Oh, I think it's Sasian. And the, and the shield Pokemon, Samazenta. The writing said that those two Pokemon were born somewhere beyond the slumbering world. Sometime long, long ago. The, the Isle of Armor? Did they really? Ta, Sonia. Thanks for digging into it. What? Ta? What? What the frick? 
Even if it's just an illusion or whatever, we did manage to find that Pokemon again. Maybe the sword and the shield that those two used to carry are still here too. Please don't tell me it's gonna be against the, those two people who I've seen like on Twitter posts and everything that it's this are these two blondes, one in red, one in blue, with these weird hairdos of a sword and a shield, and the sh and the sword um uh, sword hairdo looks like a dick. They may have been sleeping in Sunwing World right next to your hometown all this time. Perhaps that's why no one has entered the deepest parts of the woods for so long. Hmm. Okay, just oh, I want I want to find out if there's more Pokemon, but no, we gotta continue with the plot. Oh, pretty! It is the Lost Woods. So where's the, where's the Master Sword? Oh, there's no Master Sword. You suck. Oh, wait a minute. I already got the Master Sword in the freaking game. Duh. Would you take a look at that, Guts? Now that's something you don't see every day. This place definitely feels like the stuff of legend. It's the... It's, where are the Koroks? Hello? There's no Korok seeds! Not even the big Chungo! Da -da. Oh, the Master Sword has been broken! No! Ganon, what the heck did you do? See that, Guts? The sword and the shield, the legends really were true! Save. Always save. Always save. I'm gonna grab my sword. Psh, rusted sword. It is said that the hero used the sword to halt a terrible disaster in ancient times, but it's grown rusty and worn. That settles us. I'm taking the shield. Though, wow, would you look at the state of this thing? It seems like it might fall to pieces if, I, if you so much as look at it funny. I don't know if these rusty old things will really be able to stop the darkest day. But, well, I guess they can't hurt to have them along. Let's hope they bring us some luck. It's gonna break. Maybe the Pokemon themselves really are still asleep somewhere. So it seems we're on our own if we want to go help Lee. This is all the help we've got. Oh, But you know, Hop, if we find ourselves an Octorok, maybe we can just throw the sword and shield in there and get it brand new. I mean, it's a possibility. He's probably saying, I'm trying to... So you say, want to grab... Oh, yes, yes. Let's do that. Let's go to Gloomy Forest and fly back to Hamlock. Hey, it's not gloomy, it's pretty. It's the freaking Lost Woods. Oh, look at it glowing. Well, if it isn't Guts and Hop, it's a real shame the way things have turned out. You make it all the way to the championship match, then something like this has to happen. And Chairman Rose thinking that the energy pouring from the darkest day would somehow be the key to saving Galar's future? It all seems a bit mad if you ask me. I can't follow at all how that's supposed to work. Yeah, me neither. Well, I don't care if it's- if it, I don't care if I'm up against the Darkest Day or the Chairman or whatever. I'm going ahead. I'm off to help my brother. Aww, Hop. Wholesome brotherly love. And he's gone. That Hop never changes. Always in a rush about something, isn't he? The key thing is that no one's been harmed. Yeah, that's the good thing. We gym leaders work together with the city's Pokemon and we've got everyone evacuated. Hey, that's another plus. You rarely see people being evacuated, or even a mention. And you, you're fixing to help our champion. To save everyone in the Galar region? Of course I am. Our greatest ever champion and the greatest ever challenger, along with her fiercest rival, all teaming up against the Darkest Day. I almost feel sorry for it. Go on then, our great ch go on then, our great challenger, into Hammerlock Stadium with you. Thank you, Rayhan, for your blessing. Oh, it looks like we're entering the frickin' dungeon with the dragon. That's nice. Oh, Liana, you bitch! 
I still love your passion sense, but you are a bitch. J Gym challenger, you must help me. Hey, hey, excuse you, you try to stop me, bitch. I, I mean, please help me. My Pokemon suddenly Dynamax for some reason and started running amok in the stadium. Rayhan, I mean, Mr. Rayhan, was unable to subdue the Dynamax Pokemon in the stadium. But if other Pokemon also Dynamax and go on a rampage, the underground power plant would collapse. Mr. Rose is down there right now. I know this is selfish of me, but I must beg your assistance. I want you to head into the underground power plant and stop Mr. Rose. Mr. Rose has awakened the Pokemon known as Eternatus. Is it Etern... I know it's Eternal, but it's Eternatus or Eternatus? I have no idea. Apparently, the energy emitted from its body is what causes eye maxing. At this rate, all the Pokemon in the Galar region will Dynamax and go berserk. If that were to happen, please, you must save Mr. Rose. You can take the lift over there to reach him. I've enlisted the help of the champion's younger brother, too, but who knows what is going on. I'm only gonna help you to advance the plot. And since you said that it's your Pokemon, they were poison and steel types. Hmm. It's gonna, we're gonna switch to Bacon for now. Okay. And also forgot to save. Okay, oh, we gotta see what's going on, but that has to be for the next episode, and so with that said, thank you all so much for watching, I'm sorry for leaving it at a cliffhanger, but hey, this episode is already going like 33 minutes or something from what I've seen in my recording, so thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time to find Eternatus. Peace out. <laughs>